Open to do my best to make this a quick video. Sidebond 10.2 is released for the HTC One. There are a couple different variants. I will put them up on the screen right now. Uh, definitely the Sprint variant, and I think the International as well. And if you're watching this video, you know, down the road, when the Verizon version of the HTC One comes out, they'll probably be CM10.2 for that phone. So you'll definitely want to follow along with this video, no matter what carrier you have. Just make sure you have the right uh, CM10.2 zip, like the M7 WLS is the Sprint variant, I believe. And the M7 is just the international version, so just make sure you download the right version, but otherwise you can follow along with this video. What we're going to do is make sure that we're on the latest Torp recovery, so we're going to go to this page right here. You're going to press menu, and then you're going to choose install open script recovery. Press yes. I know for a fact that I have 2500, which as of this video is the latest stable version of Torp recovery for the HTC One. Uh, if you want, you can easily just go to Reboot Recovery and press Yes, and then that will take you directly into Custom Recovery that you just installed with Goo Manager. What you're going to also want to do is if you have any apps installed, you're going to want to make sure that you download Titanium Backup from the Google Play Store right here, and then you're going to press this little icon up here, uh, Batch Backup. Choose Backup All User Apps and System Data, and hit this little checkbox. It's going to take that and put it on your uh, internal storage. So then we're just going to, once that's done, you're going to back out and reboot in your recovery. I'm going to go ahead and do it manually just in case you cannot get into custom recovery. What you could have done there is press restart and hold the volume down button while the phone is restarting. And that would have gotten you into bootloader and then you could have chosen recovery from there. But we're just going to simply hold the volume down and the power button. You don't have to hold the power button the whole time, just long enough to get the phone to turn on. Now we are in bootloader mode. We just need to press volume down one time and then on recovery, press the power button and that will reboot us into our custom recovery. All right, from here, this is what I highly recommend doing since CM10.2 just got released and this is the very first nightly, there's bound to be bugs. So uh, you're gonna wanna go to backup and choose boot, data, system. You're gonna also want to change the the storage to whatever you want. Like if you have a flash drive, you can back up your uh, you can back up your whole entire ROM on a flash drive, so that way you can erase the internal storage on the phone and start from scratch. So when you choose it, you just press the back button, and then also I choose enable compression to make that backup as small as possible. And for the backup name, say like right now we're on uh, I don't know stock with root. I do stock with root. Press go once you've labeled it something, and then swipe to back up. And then when it's done, then you can go here to wipe, do a factory reset, and then install the ROM. What I'm gonna actually do is plug in this flash drive. You don't have to have a flash drive, you don't. But since you can't put a micro SD card inside the HTC One, this is the easiest way of doing this for me. And then from here, I'm gonna choose install. And then since I did not put it on the internal storage, I put it on the flash drive, I'm gonna choose that. And then, actually what I'm gonna do is go to wipe, format data, type in yes. This is optional. If you have a lot of game saves and uh, like app data, like Need for Speed puts all those like maps and everything on your uh, SD card, on your internal storage, this is going to erase your entire internal storage. So that way after you flash this ROM, you will have all 32 gigs of space free or 64 if you have the 64 gig version of the HTC One. Now please also keep in mind that if you have don't have an external you know flash drive like this, which I'll put a link to these cables in the description below. They're very cheap, they're like a couple dollars each. And um, so if you don't have this cable right here, then you just erased the ROM that was on your phone's internal storage. So just keep that in mind. I'm only doing it since I have a flash drive with all my files on it. So after you do that, you do need to go to Reboot Recovery if you choose format data. Keep in mind, you do not have to do that. It's just something I do because the game, like I said, the game saves from your previous ROM can leave leftover files, and I just want to make sure that my phone doesn't have any crap left over from my old ROM. So I'm going to go to install, and I'm not going to do a factory reset because I put the um, wipe all zip from, I can't remember his name, SWM6180 or something like that. I'll put his name on the screen. Oh, it says right there. SMW6180 super wipe. So we're going to choose that first. It's going to flash that and that's basically going to do our factory reset for us, but it's going to format everything that it needs to 
So you don't have to worry about which options you're choosing and which ones you're not choosing. And it formats it, I think, better than you possibly could just using a factory reset. So we're gonna need to add one more zip. We're gonna need to add the CM10.2 right there. And I lied, we need to add one more zip. We need to add the Google apps. If you do not add these G apps and flash them, you will not have the Google Play Store and you won't be able to download apps. So it's that simple. Just press on that. If you're using the super wipe, you're gonna see file three of 10. If you wanna just do a normal factory reset without using the super wipe, then you'll see two of 10. So we're gonna, just gonna go ahead and swipe to flash. Like I said earlier, this is doing a, a wipe, like a super wipe, and it's formatting everything optimally. So I highly recommend it. I'll have a link to it in the description. You just flash it like it's in any other ROM. And if you flash that, you do not have to do a factory reset because it's essentially doing that for you. And it's uh, formatting more stuff than you, you know, it, it's, it's one zip and it formats everything that should be formatted. And yeah, just, just, just flash that instead of doing a factory reset. All right, we're almost done here. We can press reboot system and unplug this flash drive. And now we should go from that, you know, since ROM from HTC to CyanJamod. We should see a little spinning logo here in a second. Yes, we have CyanJamod 10.2, Android 4.3 on our HTC One. This is awesome. This is freaking awesome. We have bleeding edge Android on our HTC One, thanks to CyanJamod. Again, this is the very first nightly, the very first nightly. So there's bound to be issues. Uh, if you watch this video, you know, two months from now, there could be a much better nightly that has pretty much everything working. So please don't judge this ROM by this very first release of CM10.2. So, and also, if you go on there to download a nightly and you see a monthly series, like an M series, please flash that. It's more stable than a nightly and it only updates once every month. And with a nightly, you don't have to update every night, but if you have a moment, go ahead and do that. And then if you see a release candidate, which is RC, make sure you flash that because that's more stable than a monthly M series. And last but not least, whenever CM10.2 becomes stable, flash that instead of a, a release client, a monthly or a nightly, you know, if you want the most stable run possible. So it's gonna have me log into my Wi-Fi and my Gmail and I'll continue from there. All right, we're signing in. I can tell you right now that I haven't gotten any force closes like I did on the Galaxy S3. And from here, this is really, really cool. It says backup. Use your Google account to back up your apps, app data, Wi-Fi, everything. And also you can bring over any data you backed up from a previous phone or on the ROM you had on here before. The only thing I'd choose is unable, I uncheck that. I don't want any emails from Google Play. And then it's gonna ask you for your name. Uh, it should pull it from your Google account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press the little arrow to get me to the next screen right here. And then we should be good to go at this point. All right, all I'm gonna do now is press OK. And then here we go. I mean, you have CM10.2, Android 4.3, the very latest thing. You also get the new camera app, Focal, which is uh, like got way more features than the stock camera app, which is simply amazing. You've got, you hold this little, you hold this little thing, you bring it out and you can choose like, Video, photo, pic sphere, all that stuff. And then uh, it's taking pictures, so it obviously works at the moment. And also to get to the settings down here. Um, not Here you go, you just swipe up. You swipe up from the bottom and then you have all these additional settings right here. So choose like four megapixel, uh, white balance, the little grid display thing, uh, scene mode, flash. All those neat little things down there. That is just freaking awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. So I did get one force close so far, which was the phone. Tapping on the screen does make it focus on, this, on the uh, thing. So 
That's really, really cool. So you do get the new focal camera app. You do have your normal camera app as well if you do not want to use the new CyanogenMod one. And you can just switch to video mode and hold on the screen and choose whatever you want. So that's still there and it works very well. I'm not getting very many force closes, which is a good sign. So uh, that's, I mean, that's about it. If you want to enable developer options, just go to about phone. You'll see that all we saw was super user and about phone. I'll just go down here to build number, keep tapping on that. Now when you go back, you'll have developer options. So you can enable advanced reboots when you hold down the power button and you choose reboot, you get recovery. Without this checked, you do not see those options on a reboot. So if you're, in case you're curious and you're wondering why that's not working, so enable you speed of bugging, uh, kill the, hold this button down long enough and it kills it. So, okay, before we end this video, I am gonna go to settings, about phone, Make it go sideways, zoom in, and then we're going to go down here until we see Sajimod version. Keep tapping on it, and there you go. Sajimod 10.2, Android 4.3, and then uh, just do it from this thing. There we go. <laughs> uh, if you hold it, you get these little things, you can flip them out of the way. It also works if you go down to the Android version, and you tap on that. Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. That's it, the video's over. Uh, this video showed you how to install CyanogenMod 10.2, Android 4.3 on your HTC One. This works on multiple different carriers of the HTC One. I'll have a link to every carrier that it supports in the description below. And when the Verizon version comes out of the HTC One and CyanogenMod supports it, I'll add a link to the Verizon version. And you can follow along with this video, just make sure you choose the right zip for your phone. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. If you subscribe, You'll see videos on the Moto X, how to root, how to unlock, full review, everything. You'll see videos on the Note 3 when that comes out. You'll see more HTC One videos, Galaxy S3 videos, videos on laptops and electronics and just pretty much anything that y'all find interesting and then y'all ask them to do. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out. Oh, real quick, links to follow me on Twitter will be in the description below. I'm also on Vine, Instagram, and pretty much every other social media out there. Check the description for links. This is what would Josh do, and I'm finally out.